Hello everybody and welcome to a, another week's video and I'm so excited to film this. It is the first morning routine in the new apartment and this is a pretty realistic morning in my life on the weekends during the weekday it's pretty busy so i just wanted to show you guys kind of what it's like given that i have been in a new space that god has given me i'm so blessed so lucky and grateful for all the things that he gives me because i am just such a sinner and i don't even deserve his grace but he is so good anyways so pretty much right away i typically like to get ready in the morning i love to use my la roche pose and some of my my favorite stuff I'm gonna actually show you guys and feature I'll leave links down below for you guys but yeah I love my little shower area and I pretty much do skincare as soon as I wake up it kind of makes me just feel alive I feel like I wake up and I'm super groggy and this is just the best way for me to pretty much make myself force myself to wake up because I really would like to read my Bible as soon as I wake up, but I just know myself by now. I have to do something that's going to give me a little bit of life so that when I sit down and read my Bible, I'm not falling asleep. I want to be attentive. I want to be focused. I want to really be aware of what the Lord is trying to speak into my life. And I really just have found that as much as it would be great to start reading my Bible first thing in the morning, it's realistically not a good thing for me to just immediately do that. I wanna be awake and attentive. So here I've been loving my Amika products. Um, I actually get them from my friend. She is a esthetician. There's like a local place where I get a discount, but I've been loving my Amika products. They are really good. I find that they cleanse my scalp really well. I feel like there's stuff that I've used in the past that really hasn't, but they've been great to use. And yeah, yeah, this is just my shower routine and then here I'm pretty much just going to be getting ready for the day prepping my skin using my witch hazel pads um, I've definitely been having like this weird season. I'm 23 now And out of all the years I've lived of 23 years of living I have never had acne and I now have acne as a 23 year old. So yeah, we love that We we really love that. I have no idea. I really am not sure if it's hormonal um, or if it's just related to, I don't know, life changing. So I've tried to clean up my diet and it has helped a little bit, but yeah, definitely still something I am figuring out. And my new apartment is so cute. It has this like little heater. It's a studio, so it's not like a typical, you know, full on apartment. I have like a heater and AC unit, um, that I have installed right by my front door. Um, this is one of my favorite Holy Girl products, you guys. It is way light hair oil, and I have pretty long hair now. It's gotten to be much longer, and it's also relatively like medium to thin. So if I use a super heavy hair oil, it kind of just damps everything down and it just makes it really heavy. I have to wash it immediately again. And then on the tips, I will typically use a heavier oil so that I can prevent damage and so that it just looks restored. Again, an Amica leave-in conditioner. And I try and just rub this all the way from the tips to the roots. And this has been my pretty much staple for about the last three months, I think. I've really enjoyed it. My hair is still continuing to grow. It's healthy and it doesn't weigh my hair down too much, which is great. And this is a weekend again, so I kind of have like a leisure morning and I really try to get my laundry done all on the weekends because if I don't, it will just never get done during the weekdays. I still am slowly unpacking some things. Um, here you can see obviously I have Tupperware stuff that I haven't unpacked yet and I will always try and get my dishes out of my sink. Um, I do that typically like every other day I'll start um, to wash all of my dishes again and bed obviously has to be made or else we'll crawl back into it and yeah at this point i'm awake i'm just prepping myself for the day before i'm about to sit down and get into my word um this day i was getting ready to go to the beach and kind of just have a day with the lord i was really excited it was great weather it did end up raining a little bit but i'm just kind of preparing myself and preparing my heart and my body and my mind to get the day started and guys this space is the best space i've ever had it is perfect it's where i edit it's where i get in god's word everything about this has just been such a blessing in my life to be able to sit here and light a candle have my water on my perfect little corner part of my table slash bar top and just completely indulge myself in god's word 
And one thing I wanted to mention is with this new apartment, one thing that I've just prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed is, Lord, just let this be a space where I can grow and know you better, where you can heal and restore. And you guys, he's starting to do it and I can feel it. And I'm so lucky and I just am so thankful that God's given me this space to grow. And the word that he gave me for this year, I want to share with you guys is overcome. And there's a verse um, in, I think it's Revelations 12, 11, And it basically is talking about how we will overcome the devil, Satan, by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And I just want to share that with you guys because I think it's really difficult as a person in your 20s in this day and age. And I just want to encourage you guys with what my life has been like and the struggles that I've faced this far because God gave me the word overcome this year. And I truly believe that there are lives that need to be touched and it's by the blood of the lamb, by him dying on the cross for us, but also the word of our testimony. And I'm excited to be able to share my life with you guys, to encourage you to don't go back to desire to the old ways that you had, um, you know, to desire wisdom that's good for your soul so that you can have hope for a future. And that's just truly what the Lord has been doing in this space, in the new apartment. And every morning, and every day I try to honor the Lord by just learning more about him and seeking his wisdom first. And of course, you guys, it's not a morning unless we have some brekkie, some breakfast. So I typically will do like hash browns and two eggs or this is my go-to smoothie. Um, this is the best smoothie ever. If you guys want to try this, I would highly recommend it. It is triple zero Oikos Greek yogurt, which has about 15 grams of protein per serving, but I do a little bit more. So it's probably like 20, um, half a banana or a whole banana, and then about a cup of strawberries and a cup of mangoes. And the trick is you have to get turmeric. So turmeric is so, 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 so good. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's got lots of vitamins, and this is just packed with nutrients you guys it's got protein it's got the vitamins um it has a little bit of dairy it has calcium so you guys this is a really good breakfast and it satiates me i have been adding cayenne pepper it's a little bit spicy i do like it i feel like it kind of wakes me up kind of like gives me like a zing in my morning i actually enjoy having this at night too but i will add less liquid and less yogurt and it's like a thicker type of like bowl consistency you can eat it with a spoon and I really try, you guys, to clean up after myself after because I just find it is so much easier to clean up, especially in a small space. In a small space, I have to clean up after myself pretty much as soon as I'm done with whatever I'm doing because if I don't, I can one, see it, but then two, it just builds up and I know more than anyone as a housekeeper, just clean it when it gets dirty. So I will pretty much just try and tidy up after everything. And then you guys, like I said, I was getting ready for a date, kind of just a date with the Lord. Um, I was going to go down to the beach. I want to always pack a bag. Now this is whether it's a weekend or the morning. I take this bag everywhere. I got it in Target at like, I think in like 2017 or 2016. It has lasted me so long and I will just pack everything I need, more than everything I need because I don't want to come back home. So the finishing touches to my morning, this is pretty much how it goes. Pack the bag. Put the sprays on, put the deodorant on. These are my favorite, the Rio ones. I don't know how to pronounce it, Sol de Janeiro. Um, they are the best. And then the lip gloss, obviously I don't really wear too much makeup. I just don't really fancy having time for it. All right, you guys, I'm so excited to actually now have filmed and put out the new apartment morning routine. It's been so fun because it's been like, you know, just a new season. My routine hasn't really changed that much, but now I have like my own cool space and I get to have like my devotional little countertop here. This is where I like eat and film and read God's word. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's going to be a lot more new apartment content and just more stuff like this rooted in God. Um, and just showing you guys what I do in my daily day-to-day -day activities as a Christian woman. But I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I would love to meet you if you're new. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>